All right, Scott Bernhard. Talk to the people, man. Let them know what's getting ready to go down. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Scott Brown here, back with another video. And today's video is going to be very, very, very special, all right? I'm here with my man, That's Good Money. We're about to put in this work, all right? Because I get a lot of questions in my inbox and my DMs, and people want to know, Scott, how do you grow your arms? Or how do you get bigger arms doing calisthenics? Because once you think about arm workouts, you're thinking about dumbbell curls. Dumbbell curls. You're thinking about doing this, doing this, you know? But you can build your arms without dumbbell curls. Just using body weight, just using calisthenics, all right? And how are we going to do that? We're going to do that through compound movement and through isolation movement. But enough of the talking. I'm going to show you guys some exercises that you can do to put into your regimen to get these arms, all right? Mm. There we go, man. It's not just genetics. I put in a lot of work. <laughs> All right, so before I even say anything, listen, the arm consists of the triceps, which takes two thirds of your arm. This is the biggest muscle group of your arm. Tri is three, five is two, bicep, two. All right, so the bigger your triceps are, the more your arm is gonna have that full look. See that right there? Full look. But, anyways, come right here. So, the first thing that we're gonna do. Matter of fact, I'm in the wrong seat. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do, right? We're gonna do inverted rows. Oh, Scott, when you're doing a row, it's a back workout. I understand that. But it's also a compound movement where we're working on biceps as well. So we're gonna do a bicep inverted row. We're not doing like this. Here. Now watch. One. Two. You see how my biceps are? Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. So I just did ten bicep inverted rows. Now, as you can see, I wasn't going so fast. I was just in a one to three ratio, or one, two, three. One, two, three. Now the reason why is because as I'm here in the concentric, I'm slowing it down on the eccentric motion where more muscle fibers are gonna begin to activate and tear and that makes more room for repair. All right, so try to slow down the movement. Control the momentum. Don't let the momentum control you, all right? So just do that for three to four sets. 10 to 12 reps, nothing too crazy. Next, that was a bicep movement. Now we're gonna work on the triceps, all right? So, dips. I love dips. A really great compound movement. So, let me dif dif uh, differentiate uh, two different types of dips. So you have a dip where your chest is more out. If your chest is more out, then you're gonna be focused on the more the pec major and pec minor, which is the chest itself. So, more of the chest. Now, if you lean back just a little bit, keep your body perpendicular, which means straight. You're working more triceps. And like I said, triceps makes two thirds of the arm. So now we're gonna work our triceps. So watch, straight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, five, four, Three, two, and one. Give me a nice isometric hold right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. As you can see, I was trying to keep myself from not going so forward because I'm not trying to focus on my chest. There's going to be some involvement, but I really want to focus on my triceps, all right? So that's two exercises. All right, the wonderful pull-up bar. I love the pull-up bar, man. All right, I'm gonna show you two exercises in one. So, we all know about the chin-up, which we're using more of our biceps than, uh, than our, um, our back. We're coming here, right? So this is a very advanced move, watch this. So we're coming up, one, two, three, 
floor. Fuck, now watch this. We're gonna do headbangers or skull crushes, or if you wanna call them. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! I felt that. I felt that. So, as I'm going back and forth, I'm controlling the momentum. Uh, I'm controlling the momentum. As I'm going back and forth, my hand is in an eccentric or concentric motion. Controlling it. When my biceps are being involved, all right? So, try to do 10 chin-ups and then finish it off with the head bangers. All right, so you're gonna really attack the bicep. Now I'm gonna show you another workout where you're gonna control the negative. This is definitely for my advanced people. And this is really good if you want to get that one arm chin up. Come here. Good. See that? Lower. Good. Try to get four. Woo! So, as you see, as I'm coming here and I'm coming down, I'm slowing down the eccentric. But when you slow down the eccentric, that's how you get more powerful. That's how you build more muscle. Instead of constantly moving, then you're going for endurance. The fact that I'm slowly releasing the eccentric tension, biceps are being involved and being engaged, all right? So whatever you do on the left, whatever you do on the right, you do on the left. So now I'm gonna switch. Okay. Woo! Man, oh man, ready? That's crazy right there. Arms is working. That pump, all right. So now, I'm gonna show you another workout for your triceps. So, this is definitely, it's for my intermediate to advanced people. So you know when you're coming in, you come up into a muscle, right? When you're at the top of the bar, most of the time we're doing straight bar dips. And while we're doing straight bar dips at the top, Yeah. Woo. We up top here. As we're doing the straight bar dips, our triceps are going to burn and be involved. Now watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo. If you can't do a muscle up yet. Practice right here on the dip bar. All right? Come here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Yo, my arms are burning, man. Arms are burning. Look at that. We work in all three parts of the triceps. Long head, the medial, and the rear, the rear end of the tricep. All right, now we're gonna take it to the floor. We're gonna take it to the floor now. So, we here. I love push-ups, but when you're focusing more on triceps, you wanna do this push-up right here. It's a little, what's the word I'm looking for? Difficult, but this is definitely gonna burn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! <laughs> I should have gave you a ten more. But <laughs> You know, let me give you a 10 more. I ain't gonna cheat y'all like that. Let's go. If it burns, it works. It's the work hard, burn hard way, man. My name is Scott Burnhall. Let's get it. We're gonna do 10 more. 
So you're on your elbows and you're gonna elevate yourself. All right? Make sure your elbows are not flared out. Keep it in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, And there you have it guys, some awesome workouts for your biceps and your triceps to get bigger arms, all right? Using calisthenics, I did not do one tricep extension, you know, with the machine. I didn't do no bicep curls. All I did was use my own body weight. Learn to manipulate the momentum of my body weight, all right? You have no excuses. The world is your gym, all right? It's your boy Scott Brown, man. Thank y'all guys so much for having me on the channel. Do this workout. Share this workout. Do three to four sets of each workout. Um, for the more harder ones, five to six reps. For the, more, the, the ones that you can probably reach 10 to 12 reps, all right? Repetition is the key to mastery. Just don't watch this video and think that, oh, everything's gonna happen. Nah, you gotta put in that work, baby. Let's get it. All right, thanks a lot, Scott. <laughs> Make sure y'all subscribe to his YouTube page. Follow him on Instagram. Links will be in the description box. We gotta do another back video, man. That back, oh, okay. oh, let me see that back, man. All right, look for another, yeah, a couple more back videos from Scott, man. Damn. All right, good looking, my brother. All right, man, salute. <laughs>